my goodness. Sorry. I don't know what is wrong with that. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Spaghetti. I was trying to get it to where I could hear sounds properly, but I can't. I can't. I'm gonna have to mess with it later when I have more time. So, again, thank you guys for waiting. I just heard a really weird noise. Anyway, let's do it. So, the spaghetti. Let me move this over. The spaghetti I make is from, uh, I'll show you the book. It's from How to Cook Without a Book, this one, by Pam Anderson. Not the Pam Anderson you think, but yeah, Pam Anderson. Uh, and her whole thing is like, is basically, um, she has all these recipes for like a, the base, like here's your basic tomato sauce. You need this amount of fat, this amount of whatever, I like this amount of veggie, this amount of seasoning, a spice. Okay, I changed that. Uh, yeah, this one would probably be showcased at book for sure. <laughs> uh, at book. Um, but yeah, and then she gives you like, here I'll show you, let me see if I can find where the recipe is. Pasta! Here we go. So she gives you um, like your simple tomato sauce. So this is the recipe that says you know, this amount of fat, uh, this amount of crushed tomatoes, this amount of certain things. And then over here, she gives you variations on it. So it's like substitutes, which fat you use, things like that, which I think is really cool. And she's got a, she's got a whole bunch of them. And so the idea is that it's back, she wants to go back to a time when people just knew recipes. So this helps you learn basic recipes uh, that you just know and then you once you know it well enough you can vary it so I think it's pretty cool I don't know if you guys can see that very well but yes red sauce spaghetti and oh sweet okay wait. probably with some white wine so we still have some white wine now I just learned this new way uh, to cook spaghetti which is in a skillet so I'm gonna try that today I've never done it I've just heard about it so we're gonna try it and we'll see what happens uh, let me grab my skillet. The right skillet out. Ah. Okay, I'm just gonna use a stainless steel skillet because cast iron reacts with uh, acid, like in tomatoes, and it can change the flavor. And it's not amazing when that happens. So that's something you want to avoid. Why do I put this higher? I want to be right here. Somebody needs to come and just hold my computer right here. So... Oh yeah, I've never, I, I have never thought of that. Basically what this person says to do is you cook your sauce and then you cook your pasta for the last like minute or two in the sauce. So you actually drain your pasta earlier and then cook it in the sauce, um, which I actually think is pretty cool. So I'm gonna try it. My stock pot. So here's a stock pot. That was very loud, probably. I apologize. And ooh, ooh, shell pasta. Mm. I'm just using regular whatever I have pasta, which looks like thin spaghetti. Now let's do. Wait, nope. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do thin spaghetti. Hopefully, I will make enough for everybody. Fingers crossed. Bah. Okay. First, let's boil some water. That seems like a good plan. Water. Very true, yes. I probably won't drain too, too much. Pasta water is like, so many recipes tell you to keep a little bit of the pasta water because you can do a lot with it. Ooh, skillet dinners. Okay. Skillet dinners are cool. There's some really cool recipes in here that are like, in, the, in this book, um, that are like uh, a basic pan sauce or like basic, like pan frying chicken and stuff. We'll call that good. Which is nice. Uh, and some of the like sauces and stuff that you make are really, really good. Oh 
Come on. Wrong one. Ta-da. I know what I'm doing. Ooh, man, I'm going to turn on the AC. AC time. Whew. It is hot here. Oh, I would love to make fresh pasta. I've not actually made it myself. Cool, artful badger. It's something that we really want to do, but we just have yet to sit down and make the time to do that. All right, Let's see what I've got up here. All right, so we're gonna use this whole onion. So usually the way I make this is basically, uh, for this, it'll be a full onion. You could do like garlic or onion. I'm gonna do a full onion. I'm probably gonna do half butter and half olive oil. Sometimes the butter can be really rich and I'm gonna do a white wine with this sauce so I don't always like the butter as much with that. You know, you can get attachments for KitchenAid mixers to make pasta, which is what I need to do. We just haven't done it yet. So many of the attachments really aren't that expensive either, which is nice. Oh no, I'm out of paper towels. Oh no. Ta-da, I'm magic. You didn't know you were here for a magic show, did you? You're welcome. All right. So, we'll get this cutting board. It goes over the sink like this is all fancy pants. Yeah, I wish we had somewhere to store our KitchenAid mixer. I'm actually surprised we have, we have hidden the food processor. We managed that. I used to have a bread maker and the blender is out on the counter too, but you know. At least we've hidden some of them. Oh, I can't find everything, you guys. Hi, not yet. Ah, uh, thanks. Stop it. No, my streams aren't magical. It'd be really magical if I could make the strainer appear that I'm looking for. No idea where it is. Is it here? Shouldn't be. No clue. Oh, well. Okay. Onion cutting time. Get out of here. How's everyone's day? I hope it's good. Mine's been a little weird. Oh God, onions. I forgot about this nightmare. Why are you charging slowly? Oh, can you do that? <sighs> Hang on, let me pull up my dashboard here so I can see over here too. the real bonus. So many people have so many different things about how to keep uh, onions from making you tear up. Oh, nice and spark. I hope that your first week back in class was good. But basically it's the, and I think I said this last time, but I don't have all the, the science of it, so it's going to sound like crazy talk. But uh, something in the uh, onion, whenever you cut it, it kind of gets dispersed into the air, reacts with water, causing essentially like uh, sulfuric acid. So, you know, it's just acid in your eyes. But apparently if you get it wet, you can keep it from getting all the way to you, supposedly. I don't know. Someone punched you in the face, Gorilla with a brush? Wait. Oh, 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 oh. It was like someone punched you in the face. I thought like, I don't know. I got real confused for a second about what actually happened. <laughs> I get that. I was like, wow, someone really hates onions. Oh, 
I'm sorry to hear that, Diana Moon. I need to send you your owl, by the way. Um, that's no good. I hope that it's nothing too, too serious. Oh my god, it's already starting. Ugh. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Yeah, I bet Gorilla with the brush it doesn't take much. Oh my god, this onion. I have to leave. Ugh. Okay, I'm back. Whew. Okay, come on, onion. This onion is pretty intense. I find they're a little bit better when they're cold. This one, unfortunately, was not. Seriously, oh my god. No. Back in there, onion slice. B. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I can do it. I can't do it. for a little while and then you're fine totally fine all right blood onions oh all i ever want to do is rub my eyes after i cut up onions yeah they have those oh my god yeah they're awful already cut onions to work. No stage lighting here, that's for sure. I can't even get this light to work. Um, let me get my garlic press. Get out how much garlic we want here. Let's see. Have you guys ever have those, um, or have you guys ever had those, like, t garlic tube things? that helps you get all the skin off. You like put the garlic in there and you roll it. We used to have one of those. I think we threw it away because we used the shit out of it. And it was great, but I think it's kind of unnecessary because seemingly you just crush your garlic just a little bit. Your skin comes right off. It kind of depends on the piece of garlic, of course, but these bigger pieces are a little easier. blow my nose. Supposedly that gets garlic smell off too, but I don't know. Oh my god, just having these onions in here is killing me. Alright, so we're gonna go do uh, four tablespoons of oil total. I'm gonna do two ish. Two ish of butter. And the rest, olive oil. Let's 
So I'm not going to turn this on yet though, I want to let the uh, water boil a little bit more first. And then we will get it going. Let's see, how are you going to skill it? Come here, oil. We we'll use non-virgin olive oil since it can cook at a higher temperature. the the uh, this side nope yes up here cosplay yoga if you come to my yoga streams once I hit that goal I'll do yoga as as a character not just dressed as a character as a character I did Ray before so you can go back and see that I'll probably do someone even crazier this time like Harley Quinn or something it's fun it's fun What is this noise I keep hearing? Something is happening in the back, you guys. Couldn't tell you what. Alright, I'm gonna get my tomatoes out. Hopefully I have enough today. We got tomatoes. We'll use the rest of this white wine. And then let's do do some dry basil today. I think that will be good. I'm not going to make garlic bread simply because I've got to travel, but normally I do. I do make garlic bread. Uh, and I did ask someone to bring some bread today, but no one responded to me. So maybe you guys should go yell at the rest of the Wild Cards cast and, and tell them they need to bring bread. Mostly probably Garab and JP of the two you want to yell at. The rest of us, you know, we're busy. Uh... Okay, this, 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 this. That's the, that's the one bad thing. Oh my God, onions, chill. That's the one bad thing about um, making a bigger batch. It takes your water a lot longer to boil. Oh, I was gonna fill up my water. Did I fill up my water? Oh my God, I did. I don't remember doing that. One of those days. One of those days. They have no chill, the real photos. None whatsoever. It's very rude. I don't like. I love eating onions. I don't like cutting onions. But onions and garlic are pretty much the base of everything delicious for the most part. So just gotta put up with it, I guess. Ah. I guess I can get out. Well, you know, I wonder if I have any other veggie tubbles. Just thinking of things we could put in salad. I have limited tomato and cucumber. Maybe I'll bring that. Remember how last time I cooked, if you were here, how I cut up a zucchini, but really it was a cucumber? Well, I've got some of that cucumber zucchini left. Oh, I know, mirepoix is the best. Actually, I do like using a mirepoix sometimes for this and like actually adding the carrots. Hang on, there's some really weird vibe in the cabinet. speaker that I got from the longest day and it's just like back there I was trying to hook it up to my computer it's basically back there just going <laughs> very loudly <laughs> it's freaking me out all right I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my sauce I've never done this, uh, the skillet thing before, so we'll 
We'll see how that goes. We will see. Guess I could add just a tiny bit of salt to my water. You know if you add salt before your water is hot, you can hit your uh, pot, apparently. Does the fridge, it doesn't have a name, Kira. I don't know, we had this fridge, this fridge, we actually lived in a different apartment in the same complex when I first moved in here. Uh, and this fridge was brand new then. And then when we moved, they were just like, here, take your fridge. So I've had this fridge forever. Forever. For like, oh my God. I've had this fridge for like, a, like 11 years. 11 years in September. No, 11 years like right now. That's crazy. Oh my God. Time moves so differently when you're out of school. <laughs> Fridgy McFridge face? That does sound like uh, the kind of name this fridge would have. Fridgy McFridge face. Okay. Eh! In with the onions. Nicely. I feel like, uh, you know, it's interesting because the different kind of pots you use to cook different things affects whether greatly or slightly affects the way something cooks, right? Just because, like, when you have a pot that's more enclosed, it's going to steam more potentially, things like that. Which this might may do as well, but it's a little different. You know, I haven't really thought about it, Kira, but it would be nice. The thing that kind of sucks about this fridge, too, is it opens this way. So, like, like to get this bottom drawer out, it's hard because we need the trash can back here that, you know, you can only open so far. So it'd be really nice to have a fridge that faced the right way. Ow, I splashed myself. This fridge is magic, I guess. It has lasted quite a while. You know what I really want them to do is give us different floors. We have this awful carpet. I want wood. Wood floors. Hi, welcome to anybody who's joining us. Looks like the number just went up, so hello. We're making spaghetti. We're cooking these evil onions that tried to make me cry. Die, onion. Oh. Spaghetti is probably like my most favorite meal ever. That's true, Kira. We would. Although I feel like if we could open, I mean, that's true. We'd have to get like all the way over here to open it. So that that might be more annoying. I just wish the fridge wasn't like right up against the wall. So in our other apartment, the door was there, so you could like walk through the whole thing. Um, I like wood floors because I grew up with them, and I think carpet is hard to maintain, especially when you have shitty carpet like we do. It is very shitty carpet. <laughs> Feels like goddamn needle when you lay on it. It's itchy. Ooh, cheese sauces are good, too. They are sadistic. You know, I haven't made a lot of cheese sauces. Oh. Okay, I just called you sadistic. Are you trying to prove it? Well, I mean, I called you sadistic because Kira did. Jesus. Yeah, I do have the wrong carpet. It's what happens when you rent apartments, I suppose. Okay. Water's getting there. Oh, no, I was saying, yes. 
Spaghetti. It's one of my favorite meals. It's like, it's simple, but it tastes really good. And like, I can eat a ton of it. Spaghetti, garlic bread, and uh, salad with Italian dressing. A new vacuum. Oh man, a, a new vacuum really does make a big difference. I agree in Spark. Oh yes, yes, my vacuum is uh, okay. We actually got a new one recently too. Yeah, you can do a lot with spaghetti. I mean, you can, there's one recipe my mom always used to make, which was like uh, a chicken spaghetti, which was a casserole basically, with, you know, tons of cheese and rotel tomatoes and horrible things for you, but that taste delicious. So classic Southern cooking. I don't know why that thing keeps popping up at the bottom left of the screen. I mean, I know something is supposed to pop up there, but not that. Oh my goodness. Technical stuff is difficult. What's you guys' favorite meal? Like, do you have like, cause I feel like favorites in general are hard to pick. Like not even just of food, but of anything. But that might just be me. <laughs> so. For me to be like, yeah, spaghetti, probably my favorite. Oh yeah, pizza's good, me equals. I definitely, I am definitely one for pizza too, because pizza's another one like, you could order delivery pizza, and then you could make a, 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 like frozen pizza for another meal, and then you could make your own pizza for another meal, and then go get pizza at a fancy restaurant for another meal, all in a row, and it would feel like four different meals, potentially. Even though it's all pizza. What? The real POTUS, whatever that is, sounds delicious. That also sounds delicious, Kira. Hi, David Flago, welcome. You guys are gonna make me wanna cook all these new spaghetti things. I find favorites very, very difficult to pick. Oh, yeah, hey Griffin. Griffin of Falcon Hollow, Griffin. Uh, that's true, you can do a lot with wraps and stuff. I actually had a wrap today. Veal piccata, that is not something I've ever had, Artful Badger. I don't know that I've ever had veal. I don't think I have. Yeah, I'm all about potatoes too. I'm all about any kind of carb, like bread, pasta. I live off that stuff. I don't make mashed potatoes anywhere near enough. Okay. I'm going to add the garlic. One can and 
too. I just got tomato sauce everywhere. Maybe not that everywhere. Maybe just a little everywhere. Not that I didn't think it would, but you never know. Oh really, Kara? We did have another garlic press at one point that I really didn't like. Uh, that was supposed to be nicer, but it just, you couldn't get a good grip on it. No, cats cannot have these things. But the good thing is I don't think cats like garlic or onions or anything, so at least there's that. Lime. Today, although I really prefer fresh herb, but I don't have it. Can I say that? I think we have cilantro. Don't want to do that, probably. Here, which is good. Dogs just seem to want to eat whatever. I guess it depends on the dog, but Zuko is definitely very picky about what she eats. Um, but she also wants to eat everything, so you know it's did miss. But there are a lot of things that she's like, "Why are you giving this to me?" All right, we'll bring that up to a simmer and then let it simmer for a while. Looks like our water's boiling. Hooray! We screwed up dogs in a lot of different ways. There's so many breeds that I feel so bad for because they like bugs that can't breathe properly. Yeah, it's true of uh, fancy rats as well. Uh, they get a lot of, um, especially like uh, Dumbo rats and stuff. They get a lot of health, like tumors and stuff, especially the females, because they, they're so inbred. Sad. <laughs> Chihuahuas just always seem so terrified to me. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. Let's put some thin spaghetti in here. Ugh, I love huskies. Hey, thank you, David Flagel, for the gifted sub. Welcome. You are now upgraded, the real POTUS. Okay, do people have strong feelings about whether or not you snap spaghetti in half? Because I've heard a lot of people do, and I do but I hear you're not supposed to. Yes, 
had break my spaghetti. I don't know. I've never really had strong feelings on it. I just always did that. That's what my mom did. But I see, like, especially, I feel like there's something, like, some something I saw, and it was, like, an Italian person who was like, never break your spaghetti. But I don't know. It bugs me when it's too long, so I'm kind of like, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Unless someone's like, no, it completely changes the flavor and you ruin it. Then I'd be like, oh, okay, then I'll try not to. But otherwise, yeah, I feel like it's easier to submerge faster, at least, when broken. Ooh, I wonder if we have any Parmesan. We actually just used halloumi, I think it's called halloumi cheese for the first time recently, which is a grilling cheese. It was very good. I still have some. And I thought of that because I was wondering if I had Parmesan. Yes, well, it was someone who at least is from an Italian family who mentioned cooking your sauce in a skillet, cooking your pasta in the last few minutes. Yeah, yeah, it is really good. Let me see if I have any Parmesan. I have gotten more calls today from Oklahoma. I don't understand. I agree, Diane the Moon. I also like most kinds of cheese. Don't think I do. Alas, no Parmesan. Sure, yes. Someone who lives in Italy. My, well, my friend of a friend, her family's Italian, she's from New York. Uh, she's, I don't know, I don't think she ever lived in Italy, but. Yes, I do have an Oklahoma area code, and that is why, I assume. But some of it, it's hard to tell, because sometimes it's calls for my mom, like for stuff for my mom, um, she's still there, but. A lot of times it's just junk. The real POTUS, probably. My car's warranty probably is about to expire. It's only like almost 20 years old, so. Yes, actually, we just watched one of his episodes, one of Alton's episodes, um, like on Wednesday. It was like me, Garav, and Pridgen, and Jordan. And yeah. But, but we did. We watched one. Oh God! I have to be honest. I was very high at the time, so I don't remember what it was about. <laughs> but it was good because I do like crazy Alton Brown. Oh yes. Um. I know Southern Italian cooking. I know there's like restaurants that are like we're Southern Italian. Obviously, it's still a restaurant here, so I'm sure it's not quite the same. But it is fascinating, like all the different kinds of Italian, which makes sense, it's the same here. It's not, I don't recommend watching food shows that way because all it does is make me very hungry. Uh, let's start this before. All right. It's always funny making spaghetti because, I mean, obviously there's not a whole lot to do, but I still kind of like forget that there's not a whole lot to do and think like, I'm like, what, am I missing something? You know, Diana Moon, I, yeah, yeah, it's not a good I, idea, David Um, I, we did try to watch the salt, fat, acid uh, thing. And something about the way it was shot freaked me out. <laughs> no idea why, could not tell you why. It just really freaked me out. So we haven't watched any more episodes. <laughs> it was weird. It was very strange. Oh yeah, going grocery shopping while hungry, also never a good idea. There's so many things I buy, but you know, inevitably it happens. Although conversely, it also kind of sucks to go grocery shopping when you're really full because then it's like nothing sound like when you're the kind of full where you're like, ooh, food is gross. Because then like, you're like, I don't want to buy anything because this all sounds like shit. 
That has only happened to me a few times. Most of the time I like food. Uh, you know, for a long time I didn't make my own sauce, David. And that's actually the, um, this recipe, How to Cook Without a Book, made it so easy because it's literally just onion fat, tomatoes, and some seasoning. Um, and it's barely that much more than pouring a, uh, a bottle or can of sauce in a skillet. So, uh, and it tastes really good. So once I realized that it wasn't too hard, I was like, oh, okay, I, I'll do that. It maybe takes like the tiniest bit longer simply because you need to let it like the flavors melt. Hello, Maru, yay. Oh yes, Caves Cooks. That is, that's what I should call it. Good idea. Never would have thought of that myself. Yes, we're cooking spaghetti. Mostly I am now just watching spaghetti. Magical Caves Cooks. Magical Caves makes paper towels appear out of nowhere, Cooks. I don't think that's a convoluted title. Cooking in Caves Kitchen. Cooking in Caves Kitchen Cave. Kitchen Cave. It's kind of like a cave. Can you guys see this? Yeah. I made, I made this at my karate dojo the other day. They had a, a shodo, shondo, I don't know, uh, a Chinese calligraphy workshop, and it says karate do. We all wrote karate do in Chinese calligraphy. Yeah, I mean, Grab did it. So he takes the karate class with me. It was kind of fun. I keep forgetting about it. I can see it off the screen. It's the little too far to the bottom, but it works. Yeah, it's surprisingly hard. I was really fascinated by, you know, like Chinese, they have um, cursive as well. And it looks like, you know, obviously different than this. I just think that stuff's fascinating. <laughs> yes, David Plato, this is my goal. Oh, really? Yeah, it was interesting. I forget who I was talking to. I was talking about, I think it might have been Eric, actually, who was talking about um, the... Uh, written like Japanese and Chinese written languages and things like that and there and how they like cross over and why and I don't know all that stuff so fast I just find history fascinating in general oh that's cool Artful Badger I'm just fascinated by how much there is in the world that we just don't know about and what I mean by don't know about is like, because there are so many things and if you, if you don't go out and experience them, like go to other countries and experience these things, you just don't know. Or unless you like research them. And it kind of blows my mind. Like it doesn't seem like it should be like that. It feels like we don't know enough sometimes about other people. That's really cool, Diana Marie. Uh, I know Eric, I think Eric knows some Japanese, Eric Reichert, from, uh, I, mean, I think you guys all know him, but if you don't, mostly Eric on Twitch, and on, he's on Saving Hope, um, but yeah, uh, I think he knows some, because he always has some interesting things to say about it, you should talk to him about it, if you want. No, it really doesn't cure, I agree with you, I mean, just whenever we went over to Hungary and Austrian and things, and it was, it was really cool. I mean, I could have read stuff about Hungary, but I was never going to get the same feel for it and the same experience for it and taste the fucking amazing paprika if I didn't go. Really, me, you fool? I didn't know that. That's cool. Ah, Diana Moon, yeah, I get that life thing. Is that something you still want to do at some point? Ah, 
I'm with you, David Plato. I took French for two and a half years in high school, but like, I didn't really feel like I learned it super well. It was kind of just, it was a weird class, but I really enjoyed it. And even still now, I, it is still kind of my go-to like foreign language. Like it, it just has st stayed with me, but I don't know it well enough. It frustrates me. And I tried to learn a little bit of German before we went over to Austria and Germany and Hungary. And I really liked learning German too, so I'd like to learn both of those at some point, as well as Spanish, of course. Oh, seriously, if you guys ever, if you have the opportunity to even just import actual, like, paprika from Hungary, it really does make a difference. You know, that's one thing I haven't made in a long time is goulash. We should do that because um, it's so good. And there's, it's like, the goulash over there is bright red. Like, if, and you know it's good if it's bright red because it, it has a ton of paprika in it. And it's fantastic. Yes, actually, the first place we went was Salzburg. Well, we went from Budapest to Salzburg. Uh, yeah, I love goulash. And we, we were in Salzburg for like two day, two or three days, and we also took a train to Hallstatt, which I hope you went to Hallstatt, because it was amazing. Um, but uh, I, we went in the winter, we went in like early November, or late November, early December. Um, so a lot of things were closed, but it was very pretty. I would very much like to go back when more things are open and when we have more time. I have a friend who lives in Hungary who we went and saw for a while while I was there and she made her goulash for us. It was amazing. And I still really want to get that recipe from her. Mm. About to overcook the noodles. I've made a mistake. Dom and Garel, I think, don't eat very much. So at least more for me and the Jordans, because we eat more. I don't know why. Garel and, and Dom eat like birds. Little bird people. <laughs> I feel you, Kira. I do like Europe. Although, there's still a lot of places. I, I've only been to the UK and then to Hungary, Austria, and Germany. I'd really like to go. I've flown through Paris, but never gotten to stay. I like to go there. I don't know. I like to go lots of places. Now I feel like I'm just cooking a casserole. It's 
skillet casserole. Mm. It's so hot in here today. I feel like this crash potentially needs to be taken out. Clearly I'm cooking too much. Okay, I'm gonna take my teas out real quick. Where are you at? So try this. Um, probably is going to need a little salt. Mm. Yes. You know, I don't think I thought it was up, uh, just a hot dish either, bubble cup. I would think of it as being like a mix of things that you all cook together in one dish. There's my salt. Parmesan, actually. Yeah! Just a little bit of that weird, like, Pizza Hut one. Alright, I guess that's it. That'll work. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. Also, what I'm gonna do is take a little olive oil and drizzle some of that in here, since the sauce is a little light. Right? Yeah. It works. It's not quite the same, but it works. Or I did eh, for Christmas one year. But it's so like you don't want to cook with these because you kind of ruin them <laughs> if you cook with them. But they uh, they're good for finishing salts. But I just never know how to use them. Oh yeah, I remember. So we have Sic Sicily Trapani sea salt. This is not Volcana. This one and Peruvian peak salt. And Pink Himalayan, of course, and Mayan sun salt. Oh wow, that's pretty bad glare, huh? Uh, and Selgris spray and Pacific Lake. All these different salts. I feel like the Sicilian one would probably be good. We'll take that. Those things. Them things. Southern Baptist Church experiences. Okay. Guess this is good. Now I just have to find a dish that will hold it. It might just be better to take it in the skillet. Although I don't think I have a lid. And I'm in the same place, the same problem I had last week. We actually do have like one of those, oh hi Zuko. We have one of those like, um, is it your dinner time? Oh sweetheart, I'm sorry. I just hit her in the head, you know, she loves that. Um, 
We have one of those like like lids that is just flat that you can put on everything. I guess I could try that, but it doesn't like close. Zuko, come say hi. Oh, I know. Her favorite is being picked up. Mm -hmm. Look here, come back here. Look, look. You can sniff the refrigerator. You can out get on the refrigerator and scratch the shit out of me. Yeah. Yes, don't don't climb in my spaghetti. That would not be very nice of you to do. Ow. Oh, thank you, David Flagel. Welcome, Kara. You have been upgraded. Probably plenty of other things that I need to get done. Uh, it's one of those days. It's one of those days. Um, what, you, what even time is it? It's 4.14. Okay, neat. Haha, <laughs> that's a good idea. I should do a Cyberman emote. Maybe soon, maybe soon, Artful. It's a good plan. I need to, I need to adjust. Yeah, you can, you can namaste emote. I need to adjust that namaste emote too, because it's... Oh, I think, I think I can make it to where you guys can see it better. I just... I, I always think of those things when I'm about to stream. So I just need to sit down and look at that. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I need to do. Alright, well, I don't have anything else to cook. We haven't gone grocery shopping for a while. And I can't make garlic bread right now, because it'll be all gross and cold by the time I get there. So I guess that's it for me sad but thank you guys for joining me i appreciate it joining me while i made spaghetti it's way more fun than just making spaghetti by myself <laughs> uh yeah so i'll be back tuesday which is zuko's first birthday on tuesday yay cook for the guy i actually do i want to like find a, a like a, a a birthday cake recipe for her you too gorilla with a brush hey thank you artful You did. You learned about a whole nother spaghetti. Yeah, I'll see you guys over uh, at 8 p.m. at Saving Throw. And um, yeah, but yeah, I'll be back Tuesday for yoga at 10 a.m. We'll do some more yoga Tuesday. Maybe I'll have something before then. I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to have to run back there to stop the stream. Um, but you know what? Actually, before we stop, let's see. Oh, here we go. Let's read Perfect Kazabara. We'll do it. Oops. I have to put it in right. Here we go. You've never heard of saving through Maru? How is this possible? Uh, now you have. Now you've heard of it. Now you can't escape it. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining me. See you tonight.